ongoing issue in Denver and still no clear answer as to how to solve this problem. The city sweeps a homeless camp and then other sites continue to grow. Now one option on the table is a camp sanctioned by the city. Andrea Flores reporting on this seemingly endless issue. And Andrea, the problem is many communities don't want the sanctioned camp in their neighborhood. That's right, Karen. It's that not in my neighborhood mentality. Just last month, the Denver Coliseum was almost a done deal for the city's first sanctioned campsite. But after weeks of pushback from the community, the Colorado Village Collaborative is now left to find a new site for this sanctioned campsite. The big question now is where to next? We're stuck in this horrible cycle. With more than 1,300 people already living on the streets of Denver, Quica Montoya, safe outdoor space manager for Colorado Village Collaborative, knows the time to find them a place to live is now. We're only going to see this crisis expand and grow exponentially. We don't even know what the mass eviction is going to look like throughout the country and here locally. Uh, you know, it's coming. Last month, the Denver Coliseum was the front runner for the first sanctioned homeless campsite, but feedback from the community put that plan on hold. Then it was like, oh gosh, that's right. These, this community has been just marginalized historically over and over and over. Back to the drawing board, one idea was empty sporting event parking lots, but that is unlikely. What we're really looking for is a, co a cooperative landowner. We have to have an owner that's willing to do a lease on a site. Montoya says the biggest hurdle they face, getting communities on board as homeless sweeps around the city continue. We have to start finding these temporary solutions that bridge that gap from houseless to having a home. And we do want to mention we did reach out to Denver City Council members to ask them how they are working on this issue of homelessness across the city. They did not respond to our request for an interview. As far as the timeline for a new sanctioned campsite, Montoya says the earliest we could see something up and running would be late August or early September. Reporting live in Denver, Andrea Flores covering Colorado First. Coming up.